All right, what's going on today? We are here to settle once and for all a decades long debate. The debate being which hopper holds more residual concrete, a Putzmeister or a Schwing. So we got our Putzmeister TK70, VS70, equivalent to a TK70 line pump here. And uh, we're gonna compare this to uh, Jeff over at Muddy Feet's Schwing SP500. So they're a similar class of pump. Jeff's pump will have a slight advantage because it's got six inch material cylinders and this one has sevens, but uh, it's gonna be a, a negligible difference. So what we're gonna do, official rules here. We've got the official muddy, speak, muddy feet spec plastic tub here. We're gonna see how much concrete and then how much water it takes to do a reasonable washout. Now the first step, the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to flip this elbow down. This might take two hands, she's a little stiff. Oh boy. Wow. A week of roll the concrete made me soft. Put the tub under it. And how we're going to start this off is, we'll knock her down to the five to four elbow. Like so, flash up our, our remote here, our Aircom remote. How's that for product placement? Flash her up, rev her up, agitate her on and forward. And to make this fair, I know that Jeff does not have a vibrator on his pump, so I'm gonna shut my vibrator off when we pump this down. We'll use our second tub here is our anti-splashback device. These things are so handy for that. We're gonna wind this thing up. I'm gonna pump the hopper down as low as possible into this first tub, just to get it down as low as we possibly can to simulate a, a scenario where we're pumping every last drop out on site. So we'll wind this out. And I already pumped this down pretty low, so I don't think we're gonna get, get a lot here. Okay, that's as low as she goes. Now I'm gonna dump this pan. We're gonna start with it completely empty. Now the first step, I'm just gonna crack the hopper door, throw this thing in reverse, we'll let as much fall in there as we can, and then we'll move on to scraping the walls of the hopper down. Reverse, up on. For this part, I will put the vibrator on just to save me from uh, any additional scraping. Just shake that hopper down into the pan here. I don't know. This is this is pretty low. I think we're gonna give that that swing. We're gonna give little little jewel a run for our money here. Kill the vibrator. I'm gonna pressure out of the end of the stroke here. All right. There we go. Flip our grade up. Yeah. Oh, it's heavy with one hand. Yeah. But there we go. Need to get a favorable position on that agitator. I'm gonna grab myself a nice little stick here for scraping. Just bear with me for one minute. Just my luck, this is like the cleanest, most efficient, organized site ever. Trying to find a piece of short scrap around here was, was tough to do, but we got one.
And please, please, please don't ever put your hands, arms, any extremities in the hopper. Ever, ever, ever. Even if the grade is up, the e-stop is pushed. With the truck running and or the, uh, the accumulator energized, just do not, do not, do not. It ain't worth it. Just ain't worth it. Okay, we'll switch this tube over, scrape down the other side. Okay, I think it's pretty fair to say that we got the majority of the concrete. I'll just pressure out this cylinder on this side too. Brings that piston all the way to the end of the stroke. Just like that, there we go. That also helps make my washout more efficient. The piston's right at the end. If there's any buildup at the end of the barrel, pushes it right to the end makes it easier to rinse out so it's fair to say yeah we lost a handful here but it's fair to say we got three what do you think three two-thirds of a tub of concrete we should have a tape measure I'd measure how far down from the top so about three and a half inches from the top. So two thirds of a tub. And yeah, there's a handful there and here, there you go. Just to silence the naysayers. Now we'll take our water. We'll start our rinse cycle here. We'll see how much water we get. And we're not doing a, a detailed polished wash here. We're doing a uh, your average wash. I oil my hopper up, so most of the stuff will come off pretty easily. But uh, you know, we'll do a real world wash and see how much water we we have. That's the goal here: is apples to apples, real world. So I'll flip this grate up. Levers for water agitator. Oh, the good old days. I'll spray this barrel out to start. Oh, gotta center this pan up a bit. Don't want to get accused of cheating. So we'll rinse out that barrel. Rinse out our other barrel, keeping our hands and extremities well clear of the agitator. Kind of like that. Now let's rinse our sides in. Like I said, I'm not going to skimp on the water, but I'm not going to go overboard either. This is real world apples to apples. That's what we're after. It's not a contest here. We're just to, uh, we're here to come up with scientific conclusive evidence.
now we're going to utilize the uh, my favorite feature of having said levers for water and agitator. Watch this, watch this. Oh, we're going to get both. Let's dial in a little more water. Perfect. Now we get our insert agitator off real nice. Rather than the toggles where it's like start, stop in between. Total pain in the butt. Okay, that's pretty good. Still got room on the pan. Let's move on to our, uh, our barrels and S2. Or S2, rather. Barrels are already pretty much done. And yeah, if you use adjustable clamps on the back, in the back of the pump, I gotta mention this. Uh, the purpose is not so that you can loosen the clamp off and, or uh, the, the handle off and let your clamps get real dirty. The purpose is, as the clamps wear, you can tighten them down and still get them closed. If you have a great, a great big gap like this on the back end, probably should clean your clamp out and tighten the handle down. So anyways, here this is this is a precise measurement let's clean us an S2 I think we're gonna do it with only two pens less than I thought Sticking my hand all the way in there. It's a good way, to, good way to lose a finger. Just getting in far enough that I can get that groove cleaned out for the uh, for the large bearing. done what do we got I'm probably gonna spill here if I move it so let's just take an assessment oh yeah, take an assessment right here we've got three quarters of a pen maybe a little more I'm gonna say we're down about two inches from the top of the pan so two inches from the top on that one three and a half on the top of this one so that's how much concrete we got. That is how much water. So like I said, flip the grate up here. Kill this thing. We are at a uh, 
slight disadvantage because we have the seven inch material cylinders and as you can see i'm not going to stick my hands in there but at the end of the cylinder there's a reduction from the seven inch material cylinder to the uh, six inch opening on the s tube uh, so a little bit extra concrete hangs up there there's a little bit more uh, concrete that's left in the cylinders themselves because they're a little bit bigger but i mean like i said it's negligible but there we go so i'm gonna send this off to jeff and get him to, to redo the same procedure to duplicate the same procedure exact same scenario exact same parameters and let's see how much concrete is left in the swing hopper the comparable swing hopper and let's see how much water it takes to clean that swing out for a reasonable washout i think we can all agree this is pretty reasonable I could do a little a little bit of touch up on the grape bars and stuff. I think this is a pretty we can it's a pretty good consensus we can come to that this is uh, classified as a clean washed out hopper. So so anyhow there we go. Wait, my lens clean. Anyhow, I hope this uh, can help us perhaps solve the decades long debate about which hopper holds more. My uh, my gut feeling is I do think that the swing is going to have slightly less concrete, but I think. What we're going to prove here today is that it's a lot closer than uh, what we've been told over the years. So, anyway, I look forward to seeing Jeff's video, and uh, we'll put something together. And uh, in the name of science, we will come to a conclusion. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. Keep on pumping. Oh, yeah, and I got to say, these pans here, these are the handiest things ever for washing out, pumping out into. Uh, they work well as a hopper, uh, hopper lid. Uh, perfect size for the puts and the swing line pump hopper fantastic uh, i got these from tractor supply company i will insert a link in the description but uh i saw these on jeff's channel on muddy feet concrete pumping and uh and that's what led me on to them but they are uh, fantastic line pumper's best friend right there